So you may ask, why would I need to use Scantacad if I already have AutoCAD and I can just use the PDF import tool to import some of the PDFs that I want to use on AutoCAD instead of going through the process of converting it using Scantacad? So there are three main features that Scantacad has that sets it apart from other conversion solutions. The first is it can actually manage to convert even raster PDFs. AutoCAD can't do that um, natively. You might have to use some plugins to achieve the same effect, but Scantacad can do that um, very well. And it's very versatile with all the tools and settings that you can tweak before converting the said raster PDF. We have, we have tons of videos that, shows, that show you how to do that. But let's say that you already have a vector PDF. You don't need to convert it into vector anymore. You don't need to um, deal with raster images. Why would you still opt to use Scantacad over the PDF import option of AutoCAD? So the other two features that Scantacad has are its um, advanced object recognition, as well as uh, really sophisticated sophisticated OCR functionality. Let's go ahead and open up a vector PDF to show you what I mean. Oh, just to show you what I did before, this is a raster PDF and I was able to convert it to a DXF file using Scantacad. But let's work with a PDF, a vector PDF now. You can cycle through the tabs to check what kind of PDF it is in this case. There's none, um, there's nothing on the raster tab, but everything is on the vector tab. That means that this indeed is a vector PDF. Let's click on OK here. So what do I mean when I mentioned uh, that Scantacad can actually handle advanced object recognition? Once you zoom in on these column grid bubbles and click on them, under vector information, you can see that instead of um, displaying information for a circle, it actually mentions that this particular one is a polybazir. It's not really a circle. With other PDF files, you'll notice that instead of polybazirs, these are actually just individual polylines that are connected together to look like a circle. There are a lot of um, vector PDFs that have that. So what if you want to turn it into an actual circle? Scantacad can convert that for you um, through the process of optimizing these vectors. To do that, you click on Convert Vector Image here. Um, it's already on Optimize Vectors by default. You want to go to the Optimize Vectors tab and click on all the vector objects that you want to optimize. For example, I want to turn all of these polybizies into circles, so I'm going to click on Circle here. If you have arcs here that are um, biziers or polylines instead of actual arcs, you can also click on the Arc button here. Same thing with all of these other vector objects. In this case, I just want to stick the circles because everything else is okay for this particular PDF file. I'm going to click on Run. Takes less than 10 seconds. Then I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to check if this is still a polybazir. As you can see, it, it no longer is a polybazir, it's now a circle with all the relevant information here. Now, another thing that I mentioned before, other than the advanced object recognition, is that Scantacad can easily do or perform um, OCR even on vector PDFs such as this one. So what I mean by OCR, you can zoom in on these and see that they're not actually text. They're not editable, editable text. They're polylines made to look like text. So what you can do is click on Convert Vector Image once again, click on OCR, go to the OCR tab and set the character size. Click on Select from Image, the largest character size. Um, actually, the largest character size would be this one, but uh, in my test conversion before this video, uh, doing so gave a lot of false positives. So you may, might want to stick to the smaller text for this one. I think it might be okay to just um, use the text of the character size for this one. Click on Run to generate a preview on the left. And see if that's okay, if it doesn't produce too many false positives. And by false positives, I mean that it, it, it takes 
objects that aren't actually text and turn them into text. Like for example, if you set it too high, it might convert these toilet rooms into O's, for example, which you don't want to do. Okay, some of the text um, didn't convert quite properly, but most of them did. Oh, I forgot, we do have some vertical text here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on vertical. Click on run once again. And see what we have here. Okay, it's converted. Now we can click on OK. It converted pretty well. For this one, for example, it, it didn't convert properly. So what you can do is actually just double click on this one and change it into first. In any case, let's say maybe 90 to 95% of the text converted properly. You can easily um, fix the rest on your preferred CAD program. Uh, the last step for this is just to click on export here on the upper right. Choose the file format you want to use. Um, by default, it's DXF, but you also have the option of choosing DWG or G-code. Let's choose DWG for this one and save it under whatever file name it is that we want to use. This is a vector PDF, so I'm just going to name it as a vector PDF. Click on save. Um, another thing that I want to mention is that uh, obviously these lines are colored black, but if you're going to be importing the um, converted CAD file onto a CAD program that has a dark colored background, you're not going to be able to see this well. So what you want to do is to click on this option to convert all these black vectors into white so that you can more easily see them against a dark colored background. If you don't want to convert these into white, just leave this unticked. But um, if you're using AutoCAD, for example, I would recommend that you do tick that. And then just click on OK. And that's the process. So to sum up, Scantacad can, one, handle raster PDFs quite readily. It has, two, advanced object recognition, so it can convert any polybiziers or polylines into circles and arcs if you need that um, for your final CAD program, or rather, for your final DWG file. And three, it has OCR functionality, so you can convert your polyline text into editable text. So those are the reasons. I hope that the video was enlightening and um, I hope that this video was able to show you why Scantacad is, uh, is a good choice when it comes to trying to convert PDFs into usable CAD files.